Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Disney Watch. And we are now up to 2017, part one. And this is for the short Lou and theatrical release of Cars 3. So here we go with the theatrical short Lou. And the plot is the lost and found box in a kindergarten playground is home to Lou, a creature made from assorted, unclaimed items, whose name is made up of three letters missing from the sign on the box. Since when has a... Oh, lost and found. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. After each recess period, Lou picks up the toys and items kids have left behind, leaving them in the box and subtly encouraging their owners to find them when they return. A bully named JJ starts stealing toys from the other children and putting them in his backpack. Lou is angered by this and decides to take JJ's backpack once JJ is the last kid on the playground. JJ catches him in the act, and a chase ensues with Lou constantly changing his shape to avoid being caught. So basically, this short is about a toy that's been made up with lots of other lost toys, with parts of, like, lots of other lost, lost toys, who's trying to stop a bully from stealing other kids' toys. And then has to avoid getting caught himself, so has to outrun the bully. And of course, Cars 3 was the film this was attached to, so here we go. And here we go, Lightning McQueen is now a seven-time Piston Cup winner and seems to still be at the top of his game. However, this is compromised when a next generation when next generation rookies like Jackson Storm who utilize advanced technology and training methods start replacing a lot of the veterans. As Storm's success attracts other rookies, many older racers retire or are pushed out. In the final race of the season at Los Angeles, McQueen starts falling behind Storm after both of them pitted. He tries to keep up, but in doing so suffers a violent crash, leaving him badly injured and ending his worst season on record prematurely. I'm not going to go too far into the story, but Lightning McQueen is soon to retire, and basically takes on a protégé. So, yeah. And if you like these films, I do recommend you go and give them a watch. However, guys... Next time... We stay in 2017... Because there's one more theatrical film I need to uh, review. Because Cars 3 is one of the best sequels out there by Pixar. And that other film is the other 2017 hit, Coco. But that's next time. Until then, thanks for watching. And feel the magic.